What's good Hilux fans? It's been five years since I rolled my car and I am determined to get this thing back on the road. So like, subscribe and hopefully in the end we'll go sideways again together. We're just gonna apply this. That's awesome. Right, YouTube, it's the next day and we're on to the next project. I'm gonna take a break from what I was doing before to um, get distracted and do something else. So, one of the things that is important to me, even if I'm gonna get it completely dirty and, you know, undo all of this work, is to get it back to a point where it doesn't feel 32 years old. So, one of the things that I've done to make it feel new again is, you know, paint this up nice and gloss. But I think, you know, it'd also be good if we could get all this black again and the underside of here black again and likewise, you know, up under here. Get it all um, just black, just black or like neat at the moment. It's just like covered in different oil marks and all sorts of shit. So yeah, I just want to get it fresh again. So what I'm going to do is um, coat it with some underbody chip protectant. I've got this can here, and this is not a spray can. Um, they were out of the spray can, and I don't know, I felt like spending all of my money. So what I did was I bought this thing. It's the Superior Performance Scorpion. It's the big brother to the Weekend Warrior. I was, I was hooked on that name. I actually bought the smaller one, the Weekend Warrior because that sounds like me, and uh, my mate laughed at me and said, nah, get a bigger tank. So I got this one. This is a 50 litre, 50 litre tank. It's got some other specs that I don't really know. Um, I'm sure this is semi-adequate for what I want. It's probably not professional, but you know, as an entry, it was only 50 bucks more than the smaller one, which was 25 litres. On to the next bit, what else did I have to buy these? I had to buy these little adapters. They screw into the compressor that lets me add on this hose so I've already fitted that to the compressor got myself 30 meters of this that apparently that will go on the top of there and then we can spray that stuff that's gonna be fun and I also bought this so I can tickle myself <laughs> and I love this stuff you know when you go there and it's like almost no monies for degreaser yeah got that stuff tick like if you like that degreaser special <laughs> Anyways, tomorrow um, we'll do the spraying because mosquitoes are out and I can't be can't be effed dealing with them, so I'm going inside. Hilux fans, it's the next day and I've got the air pump going. It's killer. It's the blue cord down there on the ground. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Oh, my God. What it's good for, to start with, is making sure that you're laying, you're laying on some clean ground. <laughs> That's good. But I didn't just get this to blow dirt around. I got this so that I could paint, to paint this. But now that I'm under here, I'm looking at it again. You know, there's a lot of this I can't, I'm not gonna be able to get the spray gun onto. Let's see if I can get a bit of camera angle on this because you know, here's old mate, Mr. Frickin' Elmick Gearbox, there he is. And, you know, I want to get on top of him. Maybe, maybe I could do that all right, but it's pretty greasy. And, yeah, it's got to be a bit of a challenge. And we've got the fuel tank there. Look how close that is to the chassis rail. And, you know, trying to paint on top of that. Uh, it's not impossible, but, like, you know, it would be easier if I had the running gear out. And I think that's what I've got to do. I'm going to get the running gear out now. And then put that motor in gum tree and sell the motor. Right, so the first thing to do is take the drive line off. Starts there at the gearbox. It's got this joint thing in the middle. And then goes down there to the differential. I've already got that end loose. I have loosened these, which hold in this bracket 
and then I can just drop that down. I don't have to disconnect the middle section from itself. I can just undo it here and it will fall out. Then I can deal with it. So we just got to finish taking these off and then we should be making pretty, pretty fast progress on this one. This one here, let's watch let's watch the magic unfold. I'll probably drop it on myself, so I will film it because it'll be funny. But I should just be able to take this out. This one, because it doesn't actually hold any weight up. You can take it out safely without dropping it on yourself. <laughs> That's the plan. All right, that's out. Now, if we push that way a little bit, we'll push back off the hooks, and it should all come out just like that. Oh dear! I'll just move the car back. We'll see what happens. <laughs> it's incredibly stuck. Goes. Sweet. First part of the drive line out. Okay, so the drive line is out. The next thing is to get the fuel tank out. The fuel tank is on this side, <laughs> duh, with it sitting really close to the chassis rails here. So I can't paint the other side of that chassis rail unless I do something about it. Now I want to drop this out because, as mentioned, I've got the other one in there that I'll be putting in and I want to paint it, like I said. But here's the thing, I've just filled it up. <laughs> oh dear. See that? Yeah, it's just pretty full. So it's going to be heavy as hell. 65 litres. I guess that's only 65 kilograms, right? And that's how it converts. Do I drop the tank and then drain it? So yeah, I'm going to try to drain some out. There's a there's a drain plug on the bottom there. I don't even see it from this angle. It's just there on the bottom. I can try opening that up and getting some of that fuel out. I reckon there's probably 45 liters in there. So that's that's 20. I've got another 20. That'll get us close. It'll be lighter. So we'll get under there and we'll see if we can get that drain plug off and get that out. Right, YouTube, it's the next day, and we're going to get this fuel tank out now. It's been drained. Got these bricks stacked up to catch it. And I think what's going to happen here is there's three bolts. Three bolts here. One, two, three. Three on the other side. And on top of it, that... Let me get, let me get you in there. That fuel line over there. Hopefully that's already loose, because I don't remember doing it up from the body lift. That... Once I get it a bit lower, I'll disconnect that. It's electrical. But then there should be some fuel lines on the other side. Again, it's not much room to see up there. So I'm just going to get it a little bit lower. And then we'll look at getting those off and getting the tank out. I had the rattle gun turned the wrong way. <laughs> so I tightened it up and snapped it off. So I hope I can just take the nut off the top and that sheared off bolt will come out with it. Um, otherwise it's turned a quick job into a much longer job. There's gonna be a lot of that on this channel. Gotta go up the front now and get the front ones. Rattle gun, which way is it gonna go? Lefty Lucy. Yeah, we're in business. We're gonna snap these ones off. I've already loosened it. Do we think that it's going to fall off? I don't think so. That should be it.
Right, so I don't, I don't think you're going to need photos to remember how this goes back together because that's got a bigger diameter than that one. And that one's just going to stay connected with the tank, that overflow line. So putting this back together, um, not very hard. And, you know, I, I've actually just figured something out. I think I've learned something. This one's thinner, must be some sort of return line. And this is the feed line. Why would it be around the other way? It just doesn't make sense. So, yeah, I mean, this is out now. Um, can have a look what's what's happened back here. I've snapped this bolt off. So I'm not able to take this off. It looks like it's welded on there. What well, I'm going to try, see I see, and vice grips. Got plenty of grip here with the vice grips. I've seen this on the TV. Kids have done this on TV shows and it's worked. It's moving. Yep. Oh, how lucky is that? <laughs> oh, that's so good news. That is really... Oh, this, this was a good, good plan. Like, look how much easier that is going to be to paint now. That's sick. Next, we've got to get this gearbox out and take the exhaust out. Gearbox will be easy. Let's just, you know, a couple of bolts up there on the bell housing. A couple of bolts here on the cross member. That's easy, mate. That's bloody easy. 